Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. This is how I usually start my videos, but since this is a video for Orms, welcome to Orms TV. Today, I'm going to tell you why you should be using a GoPro as your main vlogging camera. Well, why? First, let me start by telling you who I am. Again, like I just said, Ricardo Lino wheel addict. Why a wheel addict? Well, I'm 38, I've been skating since I'm two and a half years old, which means I've been skating for 36 years and that's what I do for a living. I'm living in Cape Town and I do videos every single day about skating. If you're not subscribed to my channel, now it's the right time. There must be something in the description, so just check that link and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's talk about cameras. First thing that you should know, I'm not like a really geeky guy when it comes to cameras. I do own a few cameras, but I end up getting back to this. So I recently just got this GoPro Hero 7 Black. Before I had the GoPro Hero 5 Black and before that I also had the GoPro Hero 4. So basically this is my third GoPro. Why do I always get back to these things? Well, let me tell you that. As a vlogging camera, I used this one before, this is the Canon, I don't even know, G7X, GX7, I think it's the G7X. The reason why I always confuse them is because I also had the Panasonic first, I also had the Panasonic GX7 and now the GX8. This video is being filmed with a Panasonic GH5 which is the main camera that I use here in the studio and a lot of times I use it outside, but every time that I want to create more engagement Again, I go back to this. And the reason why I go back to this, it's because if you do the right tweaks, if you actually have it with the sound, with the right sound, it just, it's more engaging. Usually I get a lot more views on my videos when I do GoPro videos than when I put all these production and gimbals and cameras and whatever. I don't know, it just, it just works. People like how close they can get with these cameras. They kind of feel like they're there. And especially with the new GoPro 7 because it's just so smooth. It just makes it easier. With the previous GoPros, I needed this thing or this thing. These are gimbals for GoPros. One of them is just the regular gimbal. The other one is a wearable gimbal that you could put on the car or you can put on the top of a selfie stick. But it was just messy. It was just too much stuff to carry around. This is just easy. Now, one thing that you should know is that even if the GoPro Hero 7 has a better sound than the previous versions, it's still not perfect. So what do I do to get better sound on my GoPro? This is what I do. <laughs> so this is the, I don't even know how you call it. It's just the sound adapter. I don't know what type of magic this thing does, but the sound is just better. The cable is a, really, a little bit too short and a little bit too hard. So what I do is just Basically plug it on the side, I twist it once and boom, what is this? Well, this microphone, it's the one from DJI. If you had the Osmo, you know that especially the first Osmos, the sound was really, really bad. So DJI ended up offering one of these to everyone. At Orms, they have a lot of these, so you can just go to Orms and just get one of these. The sound for the GoPro is perfect. Like I told you, I do this thing, but I forgot something. I need to put it on a cage. So, here you go. Camera comes with a cage, right? So let's use it. You put it in, basic, you already know now. Plug it on the side, one full loop. Boom. And now what I do with this microphone, which is so small, I just, I ended up getting a place here in between the, the little screw to type the GoPro and the GoPro. And it just fits there perfectly. Then I just use one of these hair strings. I don't have any hair, so it's not mine. I just do it here on the side and make sure, make sure that this cable won't move and make sure that the microphone won't move and that's it. That's the setup. It's really, really simple, really, really basic. Now I'm using here the selfie stick, which is also a tripod from the GoPro Fusion. This one is actually amazing because you can use it like that. And at the same time, you can just extend it. And I use these things a lot of times. Let me show you some stuff that I've done with this GoPro and a selfie stick. Cheers guys. It is. Morning. Morning. 
And we're here. It's right now quarter past eight. Mommy, can you push a little bit? So that's the type of stuff that I've been doing with a GoPro and a selfie stick. Most of the times I film by myself, so the tripod is actually important. Before that, what was I using? Well, before using this, I was actually using a different selfie stick, which was a little bit longer. And I also had this metal cage, but the advantage of having this metal cage is that I can put a different type of microphone on top. I can also put some lighting. It's basically just like if you want to extend your rig on the GoPro, you can actually get one of these. This is just like a blank company that I got in China. The main advantage on these, if I would compare it with that, is that I could actually put some ND filters. And if you're filming some action sports, most of the times you're filming it with direct, ah! you're filming it with direct sunlight. So this is the reason why I might get back to these and just leave my, plastic cage that come on the GoPro 7 out. Now, you know what? Let me just show you how this sounds like. This might not be too smart. Can you switch off the top light now? Ooh, the light now is weird, but I have to do it because I had to switch off the light because otherwise it would be flickering. But I guess you can see how this sounds like. This is obviously not i would like if you would go outside with like some proper light but you can at least see that the sound is actually really good for such a small camera so if you're gonna be vlogging it's really really important let's go back to the main camera so <laughs> if you're gonna be vlogging it's the sound is actually really really important that's how you engage people people want to be next to you they want to they want to feel like they're part of it, but the sound, the sound is there. If you're talking to them, they want to hear what you're saying. So with that being said, that's the reason why I use the GoPro as my main camera. You can check some of my videos in the link in the description. You can of course get one of these at Orms. And if this is the first video that you're watching on Orms TV, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Give them a thumbs up. It's like a way for more people to see these videos and for the brand to grow. The more the brand grows, the better deals they can get for you. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you next time. Cheers.